Welcome to my home. So when you first walk in, here is the entryway, uh, but it has really high ceilings. Okay, so up here, I just got some cheap floating shelves. And then I got this mirror here from, I believe Tuesday morning before they closed down. And out of that, we have the bench. I use Pinterest for a lot of my inspiration here in the entryway. And then this black basket down here just to zhuzh it up a little bit. All right, next up is my son's room. And the rooms in this house, at least the two rooms in the back, are not that big. So you can see here, this is the start of the room. And then this is the entire room, which is not bad, you know, for kids. Uh, but as they get older, definitely it would cause more of a problem but you can definitely see what his thing is right now and it's spider-man sonic the hedgehog and basically sonic the hedgehog so he's got his tv in here that my dad brought over from his house so i did not have to buy any tvs um and his room typically stays clean like this because he does not sleep in it so he is still in my bed throughout half of the night but you know we're definitely still working on it but i think it's cute i think it's the perfect size for a six-year-old um and this is probably as much stuff as i'm gonna allow him to have in here just because it easily gets cluttered the only thing that i really want to do in here i did think about painting the walls you know like blue or something but i don't think we're going to be here that long um to even worry about that so just get him like some blinds maybe some sonic the hedgehog or some, a solid blue um not blinds but curtains and then i think we will be good to go to the living room so obviously in my opinion not much is going on here because the walls are very bare and then once the christmas tree got taken down i realized that yeah there is a lot of space right here but i don't have the budget for that i'm trying to take it like maybe one thing a month at a time uh but in a perfect world i would love to get some of those mirrors that people have up maybe like three of them side by side. I saw some on Ikea, but the shipping was more than the actual mirror. So it just was not gonna work out. But I got these on Etsy, these pillows here. These came from my old apartment, but I got the pillow covers from Etsy. And of course you have to buy the pillow inserts. So that's where all of these came from. And I would say my decor style is more fall vibes i like the fall colors and of course the sectional um i've said that that was one of the main things that i took from my last apartment and then once again wayfair on the rug and my dad <laughs> uh, a lot of our tvs in here came from my dad because he had a lot of tvs in his storage room why i don't know so that's where this tv came from and i just tried to put together you know some pieces that i thought would work well with the colors over here because once again we have fall vibes going on and i'm proud because i put that together myself if you could probably see because this is a little crooked but um i like how it looks now this took me a little while to fill this area over here if you can't tell the living room is huge I would have loved if they gave some of the space to the back rooms, but they made the living room super huge for some reason. And so I have just a chair over here no one really sits in. 
an ottoman that my kids think is a bean bag, the cat, her cat trees. And then I have um, like this little shelf side table over here that I have some of my things that I already had laying around the house. And I put that over here. And this over here, I feel like it's very basic. I just have some bar stools, my old fall decor, and then I got this from Kirkland's. All right, next up is my room. And I just changed some things around. And I honestly feel like I messed up the feng shui of everything. So I was trying out some new colors when I got the black sheets and black pillows behind here. Big mistake. Um, but look, the color scheme is getting fixed. But we have the bed. We have our bench here. And some little decor. There's not much happening in here. And this rug I got from Wayfair it has some reds, some browns, so and some greens that I'm hoping to like pull out when it comes to the bed. And just imagine there's a little tree here. Now there's not much going on over here. It's not I haven't done anything with this area. I just need it to work. I just need it to be uh, functional. But over here we have my dresser and not much going on here. I just added this green vase because I want to pull out the greens. Got a Bible and then all my smell goods. Oh yeah, so I also have been seeing like these canvas paintings or artwork that people can do themselves. You just put, I think it's, uh, what is it called? Caulking, uh, get a, a little container of caulking and then you put it on there and then you can make your own designs a lot of people leave it white or the off-white color but I just decided to paint it black because obviously a lot of fixtures in my home um, are black but it was I think it cost like $30 altogether for me to make it and to make this I just used uh, the toe separators whenever you're doing your pedicures because that's all I had but I honestly feel like it worked out pretty good. So quickly while I have this room semi-decent, this is my daughter's room. Went with like a, not a boho theme, but she has a lot of earthy colors in here. And we use a lot of what we had from our apartment in her room. So um, kind of like a mauve type color scheme going on here with pops of green. And this is what she picked up from Hobby Lobby to bring some pops of pink into her room. But I only have one um, curtain. This is a blackout curtain because y'all know we were burning in the summertime and these are not cheap. So she has a pretty small window. So I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll just get, you know, only one um, blackout curtain right now. Um, but let me come out here. You can see it's, it's kind of small. I'm going to have to figure out a way to make more space because she wants a vanity in here. Uh, but this is the bad thing about the house. Obviously, we can't stay here that long because she is, as she gets older, she's going to accumulate more stuff. And this is just, it looks bigger on camera, but it's really not that much room for a child going into adolescence. Alright, so my cat got out. I have to go run and get her soon. But uh, I'm coming up on a year on my homeowner anniversary. So we've been in this home for almost 12 months and I have some pretty big decisions to make. And I say that because I remember reading this comment when I was talking about, you know, everything that was going to hell in the house and having to get 
big repairs back to back. I read a comment from someone. She was like, I bought a house as a single woman and I sold that bad boy and went and moved into a luxury apartment. And that comment never left my mind because that is something that I really, I, it's like my soul is craving it. Yes, buying a home is a huge accomplishment, but I never really settled into the excitement of it. And I guess that's because I never really got the opportunity to really settle into the excitement of it because as soon as I moved in, everything that was barely holding on through closing um, went kaput because everything, it seemed like everything back to back was breaking. And I don't know, I feel like my family isn't exactly complete. And because of that, maybe that's why I'm feeling like I'm ready to move. Best case scenario is I rent this place out and I go and I live in a luxury apartment. I've actually been viewing one. They have a virtual tour online that you could view through your phone and I fell in love with it. It is three bedrooms and two baths and it's basically just as big as the home. And I guess I just miss the convenience of calling someone calling maintenance if something goes down and i also miss people which is weird to say like i miss being around people it's very isolating living in a home but also working in that home and your home literally being everything and i know that i am not well socialized right now and i feel like that's what's drawing me to the luxury apartment but also getting a fresh new start on life you know every time you move if you're someone who likes moving like you love moving into a fresh new space it's literally exciting it feels like you just press restart on your life and that's what I feel like I'm craving here as well so best case scenario is to rent this place out I uh, get the mortgage refinanced at a lower rate and then go and live wherever the heck I want to live. But I know, girl, but I know I'm not really going to know if I am going to rent the house out or put the house up for sale until this summer. Like this summer is really going to show me what direction I need to go into because you guys know we were burning this summer. They could not figure out what was wrong with the AC. So I got a whole new indoor and outdoor AC unit that cost thousands and we it didn't really help. Like we were still burning. So this summer I'm preparing to get a window unit to help us stay cool in the house. But if I can't get anyone to figure out why it is so hot hot in here and I understand we had a heat wave and everything but for me 80 degrees in my home and having two three hundred dollar electric bills that is unacceptable to me and so if I can't figure out what it is that is causing the house to be so hot then I'm definitely probably going to put it up for sale but not until I get all of the updates made so I do have a few must do updates that I'm going to be doing to the home whether I rent it or put it up for sale and that is to redo our bathrooms just get new vanities a new shower for me and for my kids bathroom I'm going to get a new vanity get new countertops for the kitchen and new cabinets for the kitchen now you can see up here the ceiling is a vaulted ceiling and it looks like some work was done up here, but it was not the best job. So definitely have to get that patched up. And I was trying to make the kitchen super aesthetic for you guys, but it's just not gonna happen. I'm literally fighting for my life to keep my house clean. But honestly, whether I put the house up for um, rent or for sale, these countertops have to get redone and it's some type of cheap material uh, my realtor was very she was very honest when she said the people who made the houses in the subdivision uh that company is known for using the cheapest material um they can find when it comes to the houses that they build and i can honestly tell but 
when I moved in like I really didn't care and it really doesn't bother me that much either but I definitely have to get these countertops updated it doesn't have to be the most expensive you know quartz or marble but it definitely has to be something more durable and that's going to have more longevity than what's on here right now so you can see like it has it's been glued together it's like there's a block of wood right and then they just measured out some pieces and glued it together and here is like a good example let me lift this up like it just goes straight through the middle of this one and it looks like it's the material that has to be sealed often and the seal is coming up and i've actually had to super glue um this long piece right here on the other side of this bar stool area so that has to be one of the first things that i do and the cabinets need to be redone too because they are super old and i knew they were super old they just um painted it you can see that's coming off but the paint's coming off in the bathrooms and around here it doesn't really you know i have to do a little one two to get that to close it's just it's just old and time to be redone like that's a telltale sign that it's quite old and i know i told you guys in another video i believe that i have never used this dishwasher they left this material on here and my, for some reason my dad just swore it was a new dishwasher i knew it was not a new dishwasher um it does make a weird noise but there's no way this is new no possible way it's very dirty mold in there um it looks like a dog chewed something so i definitely want the person to have all their appliances so i will have to get a new um dishwasher i'm not even going to try to scrub that and try to make it work it's just not going to work for me so i have to get that replaced here's the unofficial tour of the dining room space do not recommend getting any type of white off white with kids but it was cute and this came from wayfair it was like a 200 dollars table which was not bad in my opinion and i've got my plants over here the one thing i will say i do not love is i have plants hanging up here by the way um this light fixture and i do not love any of the light fixtures in here so that's something that is literally at the end of the list but it's just a would like to update but not a must i would like something in my opinion a little more modern and thinking of light fixtures which well, speaking of light fixtures i would love to have some light sorry it's gross over here when i'm washing dishes i would like a light to be over here so you know those lights that they that come down about midway for the bar area or bar stool area that is what i would like to get installed into the house i feel like it would just bring the kitchen together too if i could do like a dark countertop or maybe go white like an, a white off-white countertop and then of course black light fixtures here this will be replaced too i think it would bring the kitchen all together and i know some people are thinking like girl you just got into this house you're always talking about moving this is not going to be something that happens very quickly like i'll probably be in the home for about another year or so while i get gradually get these updates done so it's definitely not going to be like i'm moving in a few months um i still have quite a bit of time in the home i really want to take my time getting this stuff updated and maybe my feelings on it will change i'm not quite sure i just feel like you know i've done the home owner thing it's fun it's great but i still i'm still feeling like i want something more like i'm unsettled and it's not really something that i am enjoying right now being in a single family home was not my main plan y'all know i was trying to get a duplex house hack do all that stuff but it was just not working and so i've been looking in 
uh, for houses that are up for sale that maybe I could possibly flip. I just want it to be more of an investment than a liability and it's turning out to be more of a liability than an investment right now and so I'm not really too happy about that. I'm just not having a good time here and I feel like like if I had a husband obviously like I want to be I want to plant my roots somewhere I want to be settled down and um make my home into a home but that is not my reality right now and so I feel like I have the freedom to do that like my kids need stability yes I know that uh but I feel like right now while it's just us three and I'm head of household that really gives me the freedom to experience life the way that I want to experience it but yeah your girl is leaning towards renting the house out after I make the updates hopefully I get all the updates done uh this year prayerfully I serve a big God so prayerfully I get everything done but I'm leaning towards renting it out or selling it if I burn this summer and then just going to experience a new area going to experience something different because one thing about me I want to experience you know a lot of things that I desire instead of just leaving them in my head as an imagination but either way it goes I'm going to continue to love on my home I'm going to keep you guys updated with the renovations that I will be making and I am going to continue you know just trying to figure out what's best for me and my life as well as my kids hope you guys enjoyed the video and the house tour and I will catch you in the next one okay guys here's my room What are you supposed to do to take a picture? You're videoing. Hey guys, video me. Uh, 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 uh. And guys, look at my watch.